talking. I'm talking. Hi, how are you? John Chamley here. And what I'm going to show you this week is something super cool because what I'm going to show you is how you can create a tab file, a tab and notation file from the audio file that you create within Mixcraft. And you can do it using some free software. And the free software I'm going to use is actually NoteFlight, which is, and you can create your own online account. Um, or you could do it with any other software, like uh, such as I use Guitar Pro uh, and I also use Finale. But I'm going to show you today in NoteFlight. So here we go. What, what I'm doing here is I have my audio track set up and let's see. Right, so it's, it's, it's registering on the screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some inversions. Now these inversions, I intended to write some files for these because it's it's part of a course uh, that I'm adding to at the moment. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this A chord, this A triad on strings uh, four, three, and two, and I'm playing it in different positions along the fretboard. And I wanted to write the tab for that. This is actually a lot easier because if I have a lot of this to do, then if I use this process, then it definitely speeds things up. So what I'm going to do right now is use the functions here. I'm going to record a track and I've got this set for 4-4 four, four time at a speed of 80 beats per minute. So at that speed it gives me plenty of time to try and play accurate. So here goes. I'm going to play those inversions and then just to illustrate I'm going to also play a scale. Let's hit the record. Two, three, four. So I, I messed up a little bit there. So let's see what I can do with that. I'm, I'm going to take that. I'm going to chop it right here. Control T and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to chop this one again. So we cut that part out, delete that. And I'm just going to drag this over to there. All right. So now um, I could actually join those together. I'm not sure it's really necessary. Maybe it is. I'm going to merge those two so that we've got one, one complete file. Now, uh, this is, I've got this set for, uh, if you click on this, the sound tab in Mixcraft, then it's going to show you that, or, or usually it, it will show you if, if you click, if you double click on the track. So what I want to do now is create the MIDI file. This is the audio file. And if I right click on the track and go down to convert audio to MIDI. As soon as I click on that, it creates another track. Now it's set for acoustic piano, so I, I want to change that. I'm going to click on the, the thing over here. And instead of that one, I'll go to VST instruments. I'm going to go acoustica instruments, just so it sounds like a guitar. Now, if I go down here to this tab over here, I've got lots of things to pick. I'm just going to pick clean guitar. So, okay, we'll, we'll pick that one. And then let's see what that does. Okay, so now if I just take this file, okay, so now that we've got this MIDI file, you notice that it doesn't start and end at the beginning and end of each measure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quantize this. And the way you do that here is I've got the file there and I'm going to go to MIDI editing and select quantize. So that should help to position these notes in the right place. Now you have some options here. Uh, we have quarter notes, half notes, whole notes. Uh, I'm going to select quarter notes because these are quarter notes. This, uh, this value here should be a quarter note. So I'm going to select that and then it's going to use that as its smallest value. And let's see what happens. Click on OK. There. Now you'll see what's happened is it's put the scale nicely in quarter notes. This is OK. So there, there are a few things that are not quite 
uh, as as they should be. So what you could do here, I mean, you could just adjust that one right there. Um, if I played this better than then it would have come out better. So it looks like I didn't quite hold those notes well enough. All right, so I'm adjusting those and this one over here, I could do that. And then I could also just get rid of this because this, this is not supposed to be here. All right, so now what we've got is one, two, three, four, five, six measures. Okay, now what we can do now is export this to a MIDI, MIDI file. The way you do that is you just say save as and I'm going to save it as instead of an MX9, I'm going to save this as a MIDI file. All right, so I'm going to save it right now to triads. <coughs> Now, I already saved a file called Triads, so I'm going to overwrite this one. Do you want to replace it? Sure. All right. And it gives you a message saying that the file has got more than just MIDI files. It's got uh, audio files, and those will not be recorded. So now what I'm going to do is take my file and bring this into NoteFlight. Now, I've got NoteFlight open already. And I'm going to say create. And when you create in NoteFlight, you get two options. One is start from a blank sheet, and the other one is to bring in an XML or a MIDI file. So I'm going to say that second option, choose the file, and here's where I'm going to select the MIDI file, triads, and say open. And you have some other options here create parts from tracks, channels, just keep the default. For that one and you notice here that it puts this on a bass clef so I don't want the bass clef so what I'm going to do is go up to parts and uh, I'm going to click on that one and we're going to change that to pluck strings and I could say class uh, let's see I'm just going to say guitar just a generic guitar and say okay on that one as soon as I do that then it gives me this in standard notation. Now, notice here there is an extra note there, so you just got to watch out for errors. Let's see if I can get rid of that one. There we go. Okay, so this is exactly what I wanted. So it's got the triads in different positions. So now I'm going to add another part so that we get the tab. All right, so again, pluck strings and guitar tab. What I can do here is I select this whole line, I'm doing a control C and I'm going to drop that one in there. Control V. All right, so that's created the tab. Now, here's a problem because you notice that I played these all on three strings and that strings four, three, two. So this one is correct, but the second two are not on the strings that I play them on. So what you can do here is, there's an interesting thing that you can do is if you hold down the Control and Alt key on Windows, um, I assume it's going to be the, uh, the Command Alt key if you do this on a Mac. And if you hit the down arrow key, voila! That's what that does. So that's that's a pretty cool trick. And there are ways to do this in other software too. You just have to find out. Interestingly, I found this just by experimenting. I couldn't find the documentation for this. But if I go the other way, pushing the up arrow key, you can do that. And you can also do, you can also, I just, just did the shift, uh, holding down the shift key and selecting two measures you can do multiple measures. So I'm going to do these two measures like this. Control Alt key, hit the down key. That is exactly what I wanted. So there is the tab. And let's see if we can play this. Let's see if that works.
this is such a good way to do this. Some of the notation softwares have this kind of functionality where you can actually input something, but um, I've tried this in Finale and I've had a terrible time trying to get it to work. In Mixcraft, because it's made for uh, recording and uh, it, it's, you know, it's made for audio recording specifically, it has a great um, conversion feature to MIDI. Which, which works really well. But this is, of course, only in the, in the Pro version, but uh, this works really well. If you have Mixcraft, then you have a great way to create tab. Please click on the subscribe button if you'd like to hear more of my stuff and, and also hit the bell. And give me the thumbs up if you like it. And from me this week, I'd like to say, stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you soon. Talk it.